there. This reading is for Sun Moon Rising. Sorry about that. I'll figure it out. Making the videos is not my favorite thing, but what message do you have? I've sat in meditation for a while, getting ready for Cancer's reading. What messages do you have? I feel this card so much. It was too. Um, and the top of the deck is calling me too. Okay. So Cancer, this is for Sun, Moon, and Rising, the sign of Cancer. So Cancer, oh my goodness, we have the Fool. So the Fool is, is like a new beginning, a new journey. It's, um, it could also be a leap of faith. And then we have the Hanged Man and the World. Okay, so this is enlightenment here. It's almost like you, you received, so you took some time out. That's this hangman to begin again. And, but this energy is so strong. I'm trying to figure out, so you either, this has already happened for you, Cancer, or this is what's happening in March. Um, so, so actually some of you, this has happened for, and some of you, this is what you're working on in March. Okay, Cancer. So there is, it's like you are taking a leap of faith. You're starting over. I feel strongly that, um, This has to do with relationships, um, cancer. It's either like how you behave in relationships. I feel, um, I'm hearing Neptune a lot. So, the, and it is Pisces season. So, um, look in, at where Neptune is in your chart and figure out, um, you know, Google it, or you could even message me and I'll help you with what that means here, Cancer, but it is impacting you. It's in a way that it is providing you with a higher knowing um, that is allowing you to begin again uh, with some journey. I'm also feeling strongly it's some turning point in your life, Cancer, like this birthday. For those of you that are watching, there's some type of, it's like... Um, 25, 40, 30, 33, okay? I don't know why, I'm, but I'm feeling that. Uh, I think maybe because astrologically those are impactful years. Um, you can figure out what house that it's perfecting that year as well. So um, maybe it's, you know, relationships or maybe it's the 12th house, but I'm getting off on a tangent there. So, Cancer, there is information, there's downloads, there's a higher knowing that you're tapping into, that you're downloading, that you're receiving, that's then kind of like bringing you to the next stage where you're with this world, you're starting a new cycle. Okay, this is all fixed energy. The, this is all uh, the fixed signs. And then with starting this new cycle and taking a leap of faith, this is really faded. Like this is a time that will affect the rest of your life or has been prepared for, depending on how old you are. When you're watching this reading, um, has prepared you for something or will be preparing you for something. This is a uh, very, very powerful, um, uh, rewarding, beneficial, uh, abundant, also balance energy. And it's exciting too. It's almost like this fool is like, um, you know, the, the word is not the most flattering, but it is about kind of being like, well, forget about it. I'm just going to do it. You know, you finally get out of your own head. That's what spirit told me because when I pulled the uh, final card, it, it was the 10 of swords. And so this really is about, um, you know, breaking free and, um, 
beginning again. And whatever it is that you're breaking free from or whatever changes you're making are highly beneficial to you, Cancer. You can't, and the result I got was the Queen of Cups, and that's you. You are going to be, there's something that is bringing joy back to you. There is some type of blessing. There's also some type of knowing. You just, um, it's more than leveling up. It's like filling out. It's like integrating your higher self with your ego. Um, and it has to do with whatever you've been grinding about in your head, whatever burdens, um, you know, or even somebody who stabbed you in the back or some type of situation that you continue to repeat that is not beneficial for you. That is ending. The cycle is ending because we obviously have the world. Um, I want you to just keep in mind that a lot of these cycles, you know, people are like, are looking for start and stop points, but really, and who to blame, but really it's about looking within and progressing. You know, um, I think what Spirit's telling me, because I'm trying to figure out what type of burdens, and Spirit's telling me, you know what, you're just gonna have to cancer you need to lay down the swords and take a leap of faith. If you can lay them down and that's the swords are, you know, stinking thinking. It's negative thinking, negative thoughts, a cycle of um, misinformation and not talking lovingly to yourself. Okay. That cycle is, it's almost like you're poof, focused on the new beginning you know, laying the swords down, walking away from uh, the burden or the person or the thing that stabbed you in the back. It actually could be your own self. I'm feeling like some of you don't really talk to yourselves in the most loving way. And so this uh, Queen of Cups is really about coming into balance with your own emotions, okay? And, you know, letting that, when I said integrating, that means... When you've been hurt and broke open, that's, um, you know, the every stab wound is a hole for, where light can shine through. And here you have a lot of light coming through and you're receiving enlightenment. Um, the world card is then it's allowing you a new beginning, a new cycle. And you have to be the fool and take the leap of faith, take the chance. And if you can believe in yourself and be this Queen of Cups, balanced, loving, you know, loving yourself, filling your own cup up, then you will receive the new, um, a new offer with this Knight of Cups. Get back on the horse again, Cancer. But that has to do with really, I know everybody always says this, but it really has to do with balancing your emotions and truly loving yourself, okay? Okay. Let's get, um, these are the Blessed Bee uh, Oracle deck by Lucy Cavendish. So, Great Spirit, do you have any Oracle? I feel one really strongly for you. Um, for Cancer, thank you so much. I'm also going to ask for a animal, because I forgot on what it was. Let's do it now before I forget. Is there an animal that you can guide to Cancer, or that is, okay? representative of Cancer's energy. All right. I want to remind you, Cancer, that uh, the spring equinox is on the 20th of March. Um, and that's also when the sun moves into Aries. So it's the witch's new year. Okay. So what animal? We have the bat. Okay. And we'll read the book about what that means. And let's find out also. So let's see. What element are you? Okay. Air. Okay, the bat. Perfect. Okay, so that's like I said, the messages, the thinking, the stinking thinking. Okay, so it makes sense that the animal that Great Spirit is linking you up with is a bat because this energy, the air energy that it represents, it will assist you. Call on the bat this month and the bat will assist you with moving that energy, laying these swords down. Okay. 
something in my hair. I don't know. So the bat represents darkness, letting go, death leading to rebirth. Okay, so laying down the swords. Yeah, that is rebirth. So, you know, uh, in order to begin again and take that leap of faith and be the fool. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Call on the bat. Before emerging, the bat awaits for the sun to set and the moon to rise. In the darkness, it can see all that was invisible in the daylight hours. The bat is a master of the subtle senses of the underlying forces that cause some things to prosper and others fade. Okay, this is the integrating uh, your higher self and your shadow aspects with your ego that I was talking about and the Queen of Cups. Okay, the bat card shows up to signify ending of a chapter. Lay it down. We know it's the end. Okay, starting a new cycle. You 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 really have a knowing with this hanged man. You really get a download. You really have a knowing. The bat comes in swiftly, encouraging us to move on. In just a few hours, a new day dawns. No more lingering in the past. Just decide. What did we say? Just decide. Okay, I'm gonna show you the bat. All right? When you're in balance, you accept, adapt, and adjust. And when you're out of balance, you refuse to let go and you reminisce. When you bring it into balance, you watch the sunrise. Oh, that was poetic. All right, let's see what these... A blessing on the senses that gift the world to you. Okay, what did they say about the bat? How they rely on their other senses, okay? Uh, and that's so true. So you're, this is almost like turning the brain off. And I know people say that, but this is when you're centered and love yourself, you can trust your heart and you can trust, you know, your other senses. Your mind has to whittle things down, but your other senses, they have a knowing. It just hits differently, okay? And that has to do with the fact that we are animals and the way that our brain was developed. So um, they, they're showing me the number seven as well, okay? So, and then the blessing of the earth. So that tells me strongly, you know, uh, when you're outside, you're gonna be getting outside more this month. And when you're outside, you're gonna receive that download. So it's like Mother Earth is the conduit for you to receive this download, for you to come into, here's her, sorry about the ring beanie, there you go, for you to receive the download, all right? Let's get a rune, and then I promise I'll let you go. Okay, feel strongly. T was victory, honor, courage, justice, and sacrifice. So sometimes... You have to let it go in order, you know, let it die in order to have a rebirth. And spirit is saying, trust and believe that it is time to die. Something has to die because there is all this new beginning, download, um, total balance, uh, and a new beginning waiting for you in the month of March. Okay, Cancer, have a great month. And tell me down in the comments what happened to you. Thank you.